He says, then I will visit their transgression, verse 32, with the rod and their iniquity with stripes. So that's the chastisement that every single one of us will endure, or we're not even a child of God if we don't endure that. And if we're enduring it, we must be doing a sin to merit it, okay? But look at the next verse. Nevertheless, and this is the great part, my loving kindness will I not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. So even when God's whipping you and punishing you for the sins in your life, he's not going to utterly or completely take his loving kindness from you. He's still going to love you because the Bible says nothing can separate us from the love of God. Now, he might take some of your loving kindness, but he's not going to utterly take the loving kindness. He's still going to love you always. You're his son. You're his daughter. And nothing can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And then it says, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. What's faithfulness mean? Here in this context, it means trustworthiness. He said, look, I'm still trustworthy. No matter how bad you screw up, I'm not going to break my promise. And he follows it up in the next verse by saying, my covenant will I not break. He said, look, if you sin, if you break my commandments, if you forsake my law, I'm not going to break my end of the deal. I'm not going to break my promise. Nor alter the thing that's gone out of my lips. I'm not going to change what I said when I promised eternal life. When I said, whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life, I'm not going to change that. I'm not going to back out of that deal. Once have I sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto David. His seed shall endure forever and his throne is the sun before me. He's saying, look, if you're saved, you're going to endure forever. You're going to be saved forever. Once saved, always saved, eternal life, everlasting life. You may get a lot of whippings. You may be the black sheep of the family, but you are in the family if you believed in Christ. You are saved. You're a child of God and nothing changes. Isn't that wonderful? And that's from the book of Psalms just hammering this doctrine of the fact that we are saved eternally.